let's be clear. I'm going to say this on record. Oh, no, be careful. What you about to Tyler say? Tyler Perry a freak, y'all. Oh. <laughs> let's be honest. Tyler Perry is a freak. Tyler Perry, you know you freaky. You a you so freaky, you <laughs> So, where were we? <laughs> we were getting into our review. We back. What the came for? Be back. You need to see us for. And then there's this. <laughs> we just gonna leave with that, honestly. <laughs> Once you've seen one Tyler Perry movie, you have seen them you've all. Seen them all, baby. and that's true. So, mm -hmm. without further ado, let's get into our review of Tyler Perry's Mia Copa. Check out the trailer, and we'll be right back. Okay. Please, this is my life, and they're trying to ruin me. Mr. Malloy, I am your attorney. I am not your friend. He liked to pull my hair and make me gag. He was sadistic. What do you think? If he's not lying, he is a psychopath. Come here. That does not seem appropriate. Your eyes know it's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> my question is this, and yes. this is a serious question. Okay. Is this not the same movie that Journey Smollett was in? Yes. Yes. <laughs> the whole time I was like, wait, did I already see this? <laughs> Talk about a rinse and repeat. Let me tell you something. Ooh. You, every, every Tyler Perry movie, she's like, you are stepping into the Tyler Perry universe because you absolutely, th that exists in the same world. Yes, I was waiting the whole movie for uh, Mia Kelly Rowland's character to catch HIV. Yes, definitely catch. <laughs> yes, like come on, we we seen this. <laughs> Fox T, when you first heard about it, when you saw the trailer, when you got into it, talk to um, me. Well, Cause... I'm going to keep it a buck because that is what we are here to do. I was very yeah. excited to see Trevante Rhodes, my baby daddy. Anytime I see Trevante, <laughs> I am excited. So forget what Tyler is talking about. I am here for Trevante, okay? So I will I would like to clap it up one more I'm, time. I'm sure you and many Trevante. others. No, no, it's not about it's not about them. It's about me and Trevante. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. But no, in all seriousness, I, yes, I was excited to see Trevante, but also super excited to see Kelly Rowland. I mean, I, well, again, we've known her for years. We've seen her for years. Um, she does like a lot of like Christmas movies and Lifetime movies. She's in a series, um, like the Merry Little Christmas series, if you know, you know. So we've seen Kelly on the screen. So it was really cool to see her like featured in a, a Netflix film where, you know, she'd be shown worldwide and internationally. So I was excited for Kelly. Was I excited for this story? No. Um, but I knew it would be fun. Did you not have fun? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, for me, I, yeah. I was excited to see Kelly Rowland. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm always excited to see her. She's Stunning. She's so beautiful. Stunning. She's so beautiful. Stunning. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. One thing I noticed with uh, Tyler Perry this time around is that, you know, people always say Tyler Perry, he doesn't listen to, you know, critics and things like this. And, you know, people make comments about the wigs and stuff. Kelly obviously brought her own. Clearly. And um, Amen. he, you know, people say that, but I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true because in this film, Tyler Perry made it a point to uh, cast not one, but two dark-skinned people. And he made those people the main characters and one of them isn't even a villain. He actually decided to make a a, fa a DeBarge-like family the villain. Wait, so, on what, on what family? A, a DeBarge. <laughs> now, for, if, you're, if you're of a certain age, you may not know. But <laughs> Those, if you know, you know. If you know you so know. he he decided to make a family of DeBarges the villains in this, and I thought that was I I thought he was listening to the. I people. picked up on that too. I said, "Look at you, Tyler." Because you know they say he always make uh, dark skinned people out to be villain. villains, and he said, "Ah, I got something for yeah. you." Crime is awful here. 
and he's going to be my poster boy. Did you see the discovery? We are going to bury him. And if you represent him, I left to recuse myself because of our family connection, and well, that's not something I'm willing to do. So you will not represent him. <laughs> First of all. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Wow. This. <laughs> it was so. Uh, it was so like. Here's what's on the page. Here's what Tyler Perry wrote. The dialogue sucks, and the actor did nothing with it. Nothing with it. And um, you can hear by some of the verbiage that they use in that scene, Tierra, where it's like he's he's saying stuff like um, he would be the poster boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, <okay. laughs> what? No, who 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 actually says in at a family table, right? First of all, what? First of all, what was they eating? What was they eating? He it, they had asparagus. I did see asparagus. They definitely had. Asparagus. Of course, they had asparagus, right? Because <laughs> lawyers eat asparagus, but anyway, okay. Um, <laughs> the it was the it was just the overall delivery of the scene, and then them deciding to shoot like a round table shot, which to me the shot was more intense than what the scene was actually <laughs> giving. Using verbiage like "poster boy" and saying "recuse," just because you know a few words that lawyers may have to use now and then doesn't mean you can write for like you can't write lawyer dialogue like but but that is what happened that's that exactly it what was happened. done um <laughs> yes i agree um i had similar thoughts so i am not a lawyer however i do watch a lot of Listen, I, I watch a lot of crime, true crime documentaries. I actually watch one right before I watch this movie. And like I'm watching this and I'm like, this is not how lawyers speak. This is not this is not what they would be saying. They wouldn't be having these sorts of conversations. So you know how we always say like these white corporations and white companies and advertisers need to have like people of color in the room, have black people in the room. Tyler needs to have lawyers. Lawyers in the room if you're going to write this kind of dialogue. But if you bring him in the room and he showed them this this kind of dialogue, they're gonna recuse themselves. <laughs> Come on, from... recuse. <laughs> <laughs> there was a scene where uh so Mia and Zaire, is that his name? Zion, whatever. Don't do this. They Trevante. Trevante's character is meant to be um a freak. <laughs> Tyler Perry is act let's let's be clear. I'm gonna say this on record. Oh no, be careful. What you about to Tyler say? Tyler Perry a freak, y'all. Oh. <laughs> let's be honest. Tyler Perry is a freak. Tyler Perry, you know you freaky. You a you so freaky ass nigga. <laughs> and this is proof. The, to me, Mia Culpa is Tyler Perry's, um, what's that movie? 50, 50 Shades of Grey? Trevante's character is not only a possible murderer, but he's, um, what do they call him? A, a sex addict, a swinger. Uh, is it a swinger? What? Uh, he, a he, symbol? I, I, I have a hard time believing that Tyler Perry didn't have anyone else in mind when he wrote this character. What's the problem? I'm just, I'm just saying. Issue. I think, I think, I, I think, think when that. Tyler Perry put put pen to paper or he keys did. to <laughs> what finger, whatever, uh, that he wrote this with Trevante in mind fully. What is the problem? I'm just telling you. Um. <laughs> there's a scene where Trevante is imposing himself uh, his character because he's supposed to be ultra like you know alpha male attractive playing to all the stereotypes that you would expect um, 
Trevante to be typecasted into. He is pushing himself on his lawyer, who is Kelly Rowan, Mia. And um, they decide to, well, she comes over and he's painting. Because, of course, he's a painter. He has layers. Which I'm pretty sure, I didn't look up the name, but I'm pretty sure there's another movie that Michael mm. Ely was in, I believe. And it's the same type of love thriller situation. And I believe he was a painter. He had, he and I'm like, be something. I see this he had to be a painter because he had to have <laughs> layers. Because the whole movie is con contrasting Mia's relationship with her husband versus Mia's escapade with um, Zaire. <sighs> mm -hmm. Tiara. Depth. He tried to make a scene mm -hmm. where it was supposed to be like intense and give you some uh, vibes. It just made me wince. Sit. Close your eyes. Close. Go. That ain't the word. That's it. Very nice. I don't want to do this. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> Me. I don't want to do it either, Kelly. Tiara, take us into the point where we get that um, climactic moment with the family where um, they confront Mia about her getting too close to Mr. Zaire. I will say this was the moment where I said, okay, we're going downhill. We are going downhill from here. Were we ever this, up? I, I felt like we were steady, okay? It, it was steady. But this moment, I said, we're going downhill. And then I said, this is when this becomes a Tyler Perry film. Where were you that night? Did you f Yes. I knew it, you! Fuck! 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 What do you give Tyler Perry's Mia Copa? Baby, this is getting a Kevin Hart from me. <laughs> Which represents the it two does. on a scale of it one does. to five. Um, I'm with you. I'm not sure that I would rewatch it again uh, on purpose. Um, we already saw it. Journey Smollett already did it. Um, Tyler Perry already did it. Um, yeah, I'm cool. I just like seeing Trevante and Kelly, and that's really it. I'm, I'm good. t -Ron, you? Well, for mm -hmm. me, I'm going to say this. I'm with you when you're right. And you are right on my sister. <laughs> I'm also going to give this to Kevin Hart as well. Um, Solidarity. Only because, only because I think that the movie doesn't do anything new. It, it, it drags on too long. It's just long. Two hours to be sitting still is a long time. Um, it satisfies a specific audience, right? Um, and Tyler Perry's a freak. Well, allegedly. No. I don't know. This is proof. This is, if there if if there was proof needed to be the pudding is the culmination of what Tyler Perry is putting out now. The proof is Mia Copa. It's it's in the mix. Right, so <laughs> we'll see, but I will, we won't see this again. I, I'm I'm good on it. Um, <laughs> you said we won't see. We won't, this again. We'll, we'll see it again, but not this again. I was going to say until like next year when he drops another one on Netflix, and we have the same conversation a year from now. <laughs> yeah. It'll be that. Well, that being said, I have been T Ron. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at T Ron World. Um, on TikTok at T-Ron with two underscores on the end 
And you can follow Ubiquitous Blacks all over the social medias. Um, you can also email us, ubiquitousblacks at gmail.com. If you have any recommendations, any uh, inspirations, or other Asians, oh, email them to us, and we'll uh, get back to you, and we'll see what we can do with it, okay? Uh, Tiara, where can they find you on the social medias? Yeah, you can find me on all things Ubiquitous Blacks as well. Also on my Instagram, it's at Tiara Takes, at T-I-E-R-A-T-A-K-E-S underscore. And Gmail is the same, Tiara Takes at gmail.com. And t said all the Asians send them our way, except it's ha- less it's hateration. All right, well, yeah. it has been a great time. I have been t and we will see you next Tuesday with another review. Peace.